15.5D, divide mixed index. Division with mixed index, when we do this, we need to get a common index. Also, as a hint, we will also need to be factoring or finding the prime factorization of any numbers. And we may have to rationalize the denominator. Because there cannot be a radical under a fraction. Let's look at this in example one. Here's example one. Let's start by getting a common index so that we can combine these together using the quotient rule. Remember, when there's no number written, it is a square root. This means we have a two and a three. To get a common index, we would need to multiply the top one by three and the bottom one by a two. This will give us the sixth root of a to the third, b to the ninth, over the sixth root of a squared, b to the fourth. Now that these roots match, we can combine them into one large sixth root with the fraction inside. Now that they're inside, we can reduce. A to the third over A to the second means that we have one A left on top. B to the ninth and B to the fourth reduces and all four of the B's on the bottom are gone with five B's on top. This means that we have the sixth root of A B to the fifth, which cannot be simplified any further. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Once again, we do not have indexes that match, so let's start by making them match. But remember, we need to first take any numbers and turn them into their prime factorizations, which means that 32 actually becomes two to the fifth. Now let's continue by finding a common index. We're going to multiply the top one by a three and the bottom by a two to give us a common index of 12. We will now have the twelfth root of two to the third, x to the ninth, and y to the sixth. Remember when we multiply, we not only multiply it by the index, but all of the exponents as well. In the denominator, we have the twelfth root of two to the tenth, y to the eighth. Now that these two roots match, we can combine them into one large root using the quotient rule, which will give us two to the third, x to the ninth, y to the sixth, over two to the tenth, y to the eighth. Now we can reduce. We have three twos on top and ten twos on bottom, which means all of these are gone and we have two to the seventh. Next, we only have x's on the top, so they cannot be reduced. For the y's, we have six y's on top and eight on bottom, which means we end up with two more on the bottom than the top. Let's rewrite this. We now have the twelfth root of x to the ninth over two to the seventh y to the second. We now need to split these apart so we can rationalize the denominator which gives us the twelfth root of x to the ninth over the twelfth root of two to the seventh y to the second. Now when we rationalize the denominator, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the missing pieces. We will be multiplying it by a twelfth root. We have seven twos, so we will need an additional five. 
We have two y's, so we will need an additional 10. And we do this to the numerator as well. This gives us the 12th root of 2 to the 5th, x to the 9th, y to the 2nd, all over the 12th root of 2 to the 12th, y to the 12th. This means the denominator can be simplified to 2y, and the numerator can be 12, 2 to the 5th is 32, x to the 9th, y to the 2nd. This is our final answer. Remember, when you're doing division with mixed index, you must get a common index. You will also need to factor any numbers, and you may have to rationalize the denominator.